Okay, so we've got y equals 3 to the power of x, where x is a real number, and we've got 3 to the power of 2x minus 9 times 3 to the x plus 18 equals 0. So what we want to do here, first of all, we'll graph y equals 3 to the x. So a graph of y equals 3 to the power of x is going to behave something like this. So when x is 1, we know that y is 3. So when x is 1, 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So let's put 3 here, so we know we've got a point here. When x is 0, 3 to the power of 0, that is 1. So we've got 1 here. So the graph is going to go off up to infinity up here somewhere. Now what about when x is minus 1? So 3 to the power of minus 1 equals 1 over 3. So when x is minus 1, y is a third, which is going to come somewhere about here. So therefore the graph is going to get really close to the x-axis and then gradually build up here. And where this bit here is 0, 1, and this bit here is 1, 3. And that goes off to infinity. That now approaches negative infinity down this way. So let's put the y, and this is our x. Okay, so that takes care of the graph. So now we need to work out this uh, equation here. Now we want to solve for x. So solve for x. Okay, so we've got 3 to the 2x, 3 to the x, and essentially 3 to the power of 0 there, because 3 to the power of 0 is, is just 1. So that looks to me like we've got a bit of a quadratic going on there. So let's just rewrite that just over here. So what we can say that is 3 to the x squared minus 9, 3 to the x plus 18 equals 0. Let's put a little line there just to keep that separate. Now we're given here a 3 to the power of x we can say is y. So let's just plug that in and see if that helps us. So we get y squared minus 9y plus 18 equals 0. Okay, right. Now, how can we solve for this? So we need a factor that comes to plus 18, that when we add them is minus 9. So our factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. So which ones are going to give us a 9? So 6 plus 3 is 9. So that's a good start. So we, we'll take those two there. And then multiply together to get plus 18. 6 3s are 18. So that's fine. And then to get minus 9, we have minus 6 plus minus 3 equals minus 9. So therefore we want minus 6 minus 3. So therefore we've got y minus 6, y minus 3 equals 0. But we want to solve for this, solve for the x. So let's just plug that back in, y equals 3 to the x. So therefore we've got 3 to the x minus 6 equals 0, or y minus 3, so that's 3 to the x minus 3 equals 0. So let's take care of this one first. This one looks the easiest. We've got a 3 here. So 3 to the x equals 3. Well, if x is going to be 1, that's 3 to the power of 1. So therefore, x equals 1. That's pretty straightforward. This one looking a bit more tricky. Let's just play around with that one a bit. So 3 to the x equals 6. So if we take logs on both sides, natural log, we can say x natural log of 3 equals natural log of 6. Okay, right. That's helpful. Divide both sides by natural log of 3. We get x equals natural log of 6 over natural log of 3. So to do 
two decimal places, put that into our calculator, we get x equals 1.63. So therefore our solutions to this, x equals 1 or 1.63, two decimal places. There we go. That is our answer.